Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 6-4 snips and tricks is what I'll be covering this part. Let's go, go, go through everything. Just bowl everything over with the Ultra Star Spin because it looks pretty awesome. It's kind of like a star torpedo of sorts. No, not the transformation starpedo. <laughs> But it really does seem like a, a torpedo of sorts. You know, yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Oh yeah! Pearl combo. Uh, I don't think there are any chests, like any doors that lead to chests or anything like that in this area, but there are a load of pearls in this first section for some reason. Maybe they thought the first part was the hardest part, so they thought they would give you a little bit of uh, extra breathing room to uh, take some hits here and there. <laughs> Uh, I think that's about it. I didn't see any, like, uh, walls that were breakable, nor any, like, corners that looked like they were going to hide something or anything like that. Um, if the arrow says go up, I'm going down. <laughs> Always go away from the arrow first, just to explore, and that seemed to be a very good decision on my part. Ooh, Snips' diary. I finally found Peeps and Ronk. Looks like that Starface and his friends really worked them over. I'm gonna get those guys. I captured Bunsen yet. Nobody messes with Peeps and Ronk except me. Oh man. Uh, it's it's kind of weird that we find all these diary entries inside chests all over the place. Don't you think that they should be keeping them in a more safe place that, you know, people won't come across randomly? <laughs> Unless maybe they think the treasure chest is a safe place. Maybe. Could be. Though. That's probably not the best idea. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the characters in this game, not really all that bright, so... Maybe that's why, it just could be. Anyway, where is this rainbow lead? No, mm, oh no, Glow Birdle. Not gonna bother with you. <laughs> I wanna go all the way back over to the uh, left side if I can. Oh, thought that's where the corner was. Okay. Now, what's up this way? Probably nothing important. <laughs> well, there are rainbows. That's important because we can make those wishes. Oh, heart made out of pearls. It's the little details that make you go, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm just being silly, I guess. Oh, no, not again. Let me up that way. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> I don't think there any, any there's anything more up here. Just gonna... Yeah, because I think there's like two paths here. There's the lower path, and then there's the upper path, and there's air in between. Oh, Globerto. <sighs> save, I suppose. Alright. In we go. Next room. Instant cutscene. Oh, these. Along with lag. <laughs> it's gotta be an emulator thing. Starfy, Ruby was. Oh, she was just gobbled up by a fluffy Uno. Oh no! God, what are we gonna do? This is terrible. You gotta save her, Starf. Oh, come on now. We know how to get her out of that. Don't panic. Just feed the thing. It'll eventually explode. And there's so much lag. Definitely gotta be an emulator thing. <laughs> Well, okay, it's not that laggy. I mean, the gameplay isn't lagging. It's it's the music that's sort of lagging. Desu Desmu May did say that there could be um, audio issues with the, when you have the certain thing turned on to improve the audio quality thingy. And I can't talk to you, really? Oh. Well, that took a while for me to grab you, too. <laughs> Ruby is safe. Let's get back to Mo with the good news. And transition. Yeah, still a little bit of lag there, I don't, I don't know. Oh my, thank you so much, Starfy. I almost broke a sweat inside that greedy little thing. Ruby, are you okay? I was so worried about you. I was going out of my mind. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little shell over me, Mo. I came here to make a wish on the rainbow, but that awful thing just came out of nowhere. That sounds so scary. Did you make your wish? Why, I sure did, sweetie, but I can't tell you what it was because then it wouldn't come true. I'm very much obliged to you both. I ah, hope the rest of my vacation is a little more relaxing. 
I'll be running to each other again soon, Ruby. Be careful out there. It's dangerous. Oh, I know why he wants he wants to run to her again. <laughs> Star, Slowpoke, let's go. Huh? You want to make a wish? It's time for that later. Think about what you want to wish for. We'll come back. I already made my wish, actually. <laughs> Stuffy, you should make a wish too, you know. The rainbows will take your wish across the sky to the far ends of the universe. I I did. I want to make through this walkthrough without the emulator messing up the game enough for me to not be able to finish. Like, Sogwood Forest and no cash GBA. <laughs> anyway, woo! Here we go. Through the water swiftly with my... Icicle Spear of Doom! Now I can take this path and get lots of pearls, I guess. Is this something that I want to do, though? Perhaps. Uh, please tell me I'll be able to go back if I go through this door. Okay. Uh, I hope this isn't the wrong path forward. Get out of my way! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, actually. Kill the rest of you guys for pearls, yeah! So I used to get combos off of enemies that are close by like that. So take advantage of that for pearls. Alright, treasure chest. So this was the side path of sorts to um, um, get a treasure chest that's not actually the way forward. I mean, it is important to 100% stuff, but you get what I'm saying here. In that, you know, you can't... Uh, in that it's not... A path to the end of the level. Anyway, I can deck myself out in Viking Flare later on. For now, let's continue. Uh, I wonder if I should transform back. Probably. That's a good idea. Um, if you ever lose your transformation, you can always go back to the start of the area, and Bunston will be waiting for you with another transformation thought bubble for you. So, yeah, you don't really have to worry about losing your opportunity. Uh, like, if you go through a door and then you lose the, the power, and yeah, you're, you can always go back to the start and um, get the power that you need to fully traverse the area. I really, it doesn't look like that you really need it for the rest of this area, at least not up to this point. Uh, I could be wrong. No, nope, you don't need it. <laughs> I guess I could have gone through that with Starfy. Uh, we got a door that we're looking for here. I should probably combo some of those snarks. Uh, I doubt there's a transformation here, so that's likely a way back. I don't know what I'm saying here. Just, again, being silly. Um, going down, 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 down. Nope, nope, nope. That's going to take me back to the beginning. What is the door's location? Oh, 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 there it is. Give me key. I'm sorry that I had to do that to you just for a key. But that's how things go. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not, I'll explore the rest of the stuff later. I just wanted to sort of circle around the area. Hey, Herbert, how's it going? Hey there, Starfy. Look like uh, we're glad I ran into you. Since you came all this way, you want to practice gliding? Jump from the cliff and fly as far as you can. If you pass the 70 marker, I'll show you a secret. You're going to try, right? You. Mm, mm, uh, mm, eh, maybe later. Oh, done the mood to show off your flying skills. Maybe another time then. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> I just really want to see the uh, um, other parts of dialogue there, which is why I'm choosing the other answer at lately. All right, let's glide. This should be incredibly easy. Get a running start. Wait, actually, can I talk to you before I do the glide? Uh, you jump, I'll measure. Secret is to jump up and then glide as far as you can. Go for it, okay. Wait, can you actually leave in the middle of the mini game? Yes. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. They usually don't let you do that sort of thing. All right, let's... Yes, 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 yes. Let's, let's actually play this for real now that I've been messing around with the whole sequence here. Okay, so I'm gonna get a running start. Obviously, once you do the ju double jump, you can't get 
uh, any higher than that, and you can keep jumping along the way and whatnot. It's pretty easy to get past the 70 marker, although you can use enemies to get yourself a little bit further. There isn't really a prize if you get further than that, but it's, it's just a thing of, like, seeing how far you can go. You did it! It must be your aerodynamic shape. Just like Starfy, the Prince of Top Puff Top. I am him! Look at the bottom left corner of the screen! No, you probably can't see that. Since you passed the 70 marker, I'll tell you about a place so you can fly even more. Sega 3 has been added to your map. And... there it is. Looks like I'll be able to 100% the world all in one shot, hopefully. Maybe? I don't, I don't actually remember if I need any more powers to 100% the secret areas. But... <laughs> I will do that the entire walkthrough. You know, getting dizzy. Not killing those guys. Those guys only come every once in a while. <laughs> Alright, now that I found the door... Where should I be going? Probably up there. That seems like a good idea, don't you think? I think so. So, we're going up. And up and up. Oh, this must be it. Because I already explored the other upper portions of the area. So, that was like the only the only place that I haven't explored yet. Uh, I'll go down that way soon enough. Mm, I mean, up that way soon enough, excuse me. Uh, Unless this is the way forward. I hope this isn't the way forward. No, it's not. It's just a detail area with pearls, I suppose. It's like the... A lot of the lower areas that I'm exploring here are quote-unquote like punishment areas. Like, in that if you fell down here while you're trying to move forward, what would happen is that you'd have to go all the way back to that rainbow there and then traverse back up. But it's so hard to fall when you've got the glide, the star spin, yeah, you know, that sort of thing, and you just always make progress forward, so that's why I I tend to take the lower routes first before I uh, um, take the upper routes. Anyway, shouldn't there be a cutscene here? That's what I thought. Oh, I didn't forget if you did the wrong head papes. Now it's payback time, see? The only thing that's gonna get paid back is you. We're gonna, um, uh, pay you back in, uh, spades? Step aside, Mo. Where'd you get that char? That belongs to me. Belongs to whoever has it. See, that would be me. Now hand over Bunsen, and no one will get hurt. Oh, I hand over Bunsen? Forget about it. I mean, I'm giving you one last chance to comply. Hand over the shard? I, I mean, hand over the shard. I need to fly back home. Shard, smart, blah, blah, blah. What's the deal with these things? Oh, I see. The stone here is a part of your spaceship that we blew off. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I saw another one on the SS log water not too far ahead, see? You want the shard so bad, kid? Then why don't you come and take it from me, see? I think she's supposed to sound like a mafia sort of person. Oh jeez, no! Oh, oh, Staffy, Mo! Ruby, what have you goons done to Ruby? Clam it, clam. You want Ruby? We want Bunston. It's real simple. Ooh, a trade. That's diabolical. What do you say, Bunston? Sound like a fair exchange to you? Uh, I'll come with you. Just don't hurt Ruby. Starfy? No, oh, I'm sorry. I, no, you let us brain. What about saving your people? You said your home was attacked. Uh, I'll get to them somehow. Ruby got hurt too. I mean, if Ruby got hurt too, I'd never be able to forgive myself. Oh, oh. Brave little Bunston. <clears throat> yeah, right this way, Bunston. You chumps are no match for the trio known as Wrong Papes. And snip, stop. Hold up. What? Uh huh? What? Who? What? What? What's going on? Oh, could it be Wrong Papes? What's the matter with you two? I'm about to capture this kid. They feel for Ruby in case you don't realize that because Ruby was helping them. Snips, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but, um, we don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, I mean, we, when we were hurt, Ruby, she was, well, she was real nice to us. Oh, wrong, such a sweet thing. Oh, dang. <laughs> Shut it, you two. Have you meatheads gone soft to me or what? We didn't track Bunsen all this way just to give up. We gotta finish Stop this job. Unless you want to go back and tell him what you just told me. No, 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 no need to do that. 
Nobody said anything about going against the big boss. It's just... These guys are so nice. I think we should just... Uh, I think we should just give them the shard. Shut up! Fine, you could've just... Go ahead and give up. I'll take care of this myself. Enough chit-chat. You want the shard? Come and get it. So, she kind of stupidly revealed that there's another shard at the SS Logwater later on. But, as I said before, the character's not all that bright. I mean, a lot of the characters not all that bright. <laughs> oh, now what? The shard is gone. This is hopeless. Enough of that talk. You're not gonna give up now, are you? Snip said something about the SS Logwater, right? Let's head there now and mope around later. Uh, unless you got any, guys got any better ideas. Didn't think so. Let's go! Uh, actually, let's chat first. <laughs> What's up, Bunston? Your tongue a little twisted. Hey, Mo, you know about that, that beautiful ruby? You don't worry about ruby, carrot head. Mo, is something the matter? Ah, uh, no, ruby, nothing's the matter here. Just working out how we're gonna get that, the next snack shard. The sooner we do that, the sooner I can see you again, uh, right? <laughs> okay, so those three talked. What about you two? What do you have to say? I'm sorry, our leader, Snips, has always had a quick temper. Hmm. I wonder what's gotten in the snips. She sure is mad at us. After everything Ruby did, for, <clears throat> after everything Ruby did for us, I just couldn't let anything bad happen to her. Oh! All right, boss star. Here we go. Guess who's the upcoming boss? If you guess snips, you would be correct. All right, here we go. Super laggy music. <laughs> Go and take care of Snip, Starfy. For Ruby's sake. We can even call Starly to help. No, 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 don't, don't stop, e stop even saying stuff. I'm tired of you saying that we should call Starly. I'm not capable of doing that. Let's just go in and battle. Snips herself. Here we go. You're gonna notice right off the bat, you can't do damage to her normally. You gotta knock a bomb into her. Yeah, like that. Sort of like Phantom Ganon in a way, in that she can also repel the bomb back at you, but not all the time. And the bomb gets faster and faster the more you hit it, so it becomes a little bit more tricky to go and knock it back to her as you as you go, especially when she keeps uh, knocking it back more and more. Oops. As long as you're spinning at the bomb, the bomb won't explode at you though. So it's not really that big of a deal um, if she bounced it. Oops, if she bounced it back and you have to hit it again, it's just a matter of getting it, to, getting it to bounce towards her. And since it's moving pretty fast and you're trying to play pool with these things, ow! <laughs> it, it, it's a little bit on the annoying side, but I'm pretty sure at this moment in time that even if you take some hits, you are going to have enough um, life energy to make it through this boss without much issues because she, it only takes uh, five hits to knock her out. Because as, as you see, it, it takes um, two, two of her life bar off per hit. And yeah, just need to do it one more time. And if, you could actually, in theory, just keep dodging the bomb until it uh, you know bounces around the, the room and just <laughs> knocked her knocked her out off screen. Uh, yeah, in theory, you could just knock her, knock the bomb around, or leave the bomb alone until it just bounces back into her naturally. Because the bomb is eventually going to do that. It's just the way the, you know, because it bounces off the edges in straight lines. It's just going to eventually go back and hit her. After a stinging defeat, Snips, Pape, Ronk, and Papes return to their ship to regroup. Do, 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 do. Ah, that was awful. Move over. You guys were. Absolutely awful! Not really, no, actually, they worked in my favor. Oh, forget it. <laughs> wait, wait, anyone hurt? They healed us. After the fight? Our enemies? Uh huh. But. Uh, they were. Who were the bad guys? And they patched you up? Just to be nice? They do that for us? That was so nice. I think she's getting feelings for the heroes too. Well, I should say feelings of friendship for the heroes too. Look at us, beating up on those innocent wrinklings just because the boss told us to. But the boss, if we don't follow orders, he'll crunchify us 
He'll smushify us. Disheartened. Snips, peeps, and Ronk sat in the spaceship and grumbled about their miserable situation. Meanwhile, Starfy and his friends knew that they had to act on the info. Snips accidentally let sip, slip. So the three adventurers headed for the shipwreck. Well. No, not, not now. I'm actually going to go back to stage six through the secret levels in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then.